heated rally outside London's Downing Street sparked counter demonstrations and chaos. Muslim protesters had gathered, calling for aspects of Sharia law to be introduced into Britain. Laura Emmett reports. They may be few, but their message is clear. Introduce Sharia law into the UK. This is the face of radical Islam, assembled outside Downing Street, proclaiming its message at full volume. We find many of these people which call for human rights and whatnot, uh, they come out and they say that they want equality. But what equality do you get when a man legislates over another man? Is he not more superior than you? You're worshipping him by submitting to him and obeying his laws. And, and we will get oppression like this until we, we all submit to one law, and that is the law of God. Just a few metres away, struggling to get their voices heard, a group of moderate Muslims and non-Muslims are commemorating the first anniversary of the death of Nader Aga Sultan, killed following last year's Iranian election. They oppose Sharia law, even the Sharia courts that are already operating in this country. The British government is making a huge mistake giving them access to, to bring Sharia law courts. It thinks that it can reduce terrorism by doing that. It doesn't understand that this is the political wing of the terrorist movement and they're here to suppress people's rights. Not exactly quiet, but non-violent, despite the arrival of the nationalist English Defence League. They weren't welcomed by either group, although some among them said they came with a message of inclusion. We're members of the English Defence League. We're not racist. Black, white, brown unite against these Islamic preachers because we want one law for all in the UK. So we've decided to come and join these to uh, protest against them. Our lads got arrested. They didn't do nothing. They got arrested and they should arrest them because they are inciting religious and racial hatred. Racist or not, police didn't waste any time bundling the EDL into vans, saying they didn't have permission to demonstrate. But it wasn't over yet. Later, the demonstration was joined by a group carrying the banners of Unite Against Fascism. Sworn enemies of the EDL, it seemed at first that they were there to oppose them. But when the chanting got clearer, it became obvious whose side they were on. The UAF denies any association. There are a total of four different factions represented here this afternoon, both pro and anti-Sharia law. And demonstrations like these are a sight that's becoming more and more common on the streets of towns all over the UK and not just in London. And in fact, this is the second demonstration inside a week by an organisation called Muslims Against the Crusades, which promotes the introduction of Sharia law into the UK. Laura Emmett, RT, London.